Bless up my viewers, welcome back to the channel Wild Wild West Jamaica Back in action, never Ever come out of action When last on the ears of Jamaica Nobody now get dirt Nobody now get slapped with Whether Christmas Boxing Day or New Year's Day My viewers, the mayhem continue But we are getting to the story Quick and fast, four persons Killed at Grave digging in Westmoreland A shooting and a freak accident led to the incident where four persons in Jerusalem Mountain in Westmoreland on Sunday night reports are that at about 9 p.m. during a grave digging, a fear gunmen attack and shot to death an over farmer Oakton Stewart who had just switched on the ignition to his Toyota Voxy with his foot still on the accelerator and his body slumped over the steering wheel. The vehicle slammed into a crowd of bystanders, killing three persons and hospitalized one. Deceased are 49-year-old Roslyn Shari Grant, a vendor of Lace River address in Hanover, a woman by the name of Denise Richards, an unidentified man. Richard's daughter Camille, who was also it, is in hospital in serious condition. The Westmoreland police are still investigating the scene. Why, my viewers, it's sticky. It's sticky, bad, my viewers. Him get caught up and end up on a try to drive off and mow down some people, my viewers. They think. You think I get grimy, my viewers? I tell you the truth, but I want to just continue to like, share the video, and subscribe. Also, dancehall producer Shabdan heads to court tomorrow for a brief for a bribery charge. A bail application is to be made for a popular musician producer Linval Shabdan Thompson Jr. when he returns to the St. James Parish Court on the 26th on three counts of knockings. The producer who was implicated in a triple knockings in Rosites, St. James was remanded in custody when he made his first appearance on June the 25th. He is charged for the shooting death of 27-year-old Chadwell Fraser, otherwise called Bambrain, or Chad, 24-year-old Shamiria Chippy Calvin and 26-year-old Tony and Two Fly Reed. The men were shot at a party on Mall Road in Rose Heights on May the 25th. Thompson was arrested by the police in June during a targeted operation in the St. Catherine South Police Division following some investigation into several incidents. In the meantime, he is to appear in the Kingston and St. Andrew Court tomorrow on a bribery charge. In that case, he is accused of offering two million to a policeman to remove an illegal firearm from his motor car before it was searched by the police. Thompson, who was charged with illegal possession of firearm and ammunition in relation to the said to, to the said illegal weapon, was however freed of that gun charge in April. Lawyer Dohonan Martin is representing Mr. Thompson. St. Mary wanted man surrender. The St. Mary man who wanted for some knocking has surrendered to the police. His lawyer has confirmed. Lawyer Donovan Collins said he accompanied his client Sandre Burry to the Islington police station in St. Mary today. Collins said Burry also called Burry Boy was handed over to the police in a good physical condition. I am expecting the police to question him within delay as they will only have 24 hours to charge or release him, he said. 
all into habits compass application. Bury was placed on the police list in January. Investigators say he is wanted in connection with a shooting death of a Rodney Thompson on May the 5th last year in Friendship District, Islington. Some of you as the knockings and the clappings, you know, it, it always, always in the news. It often make the news. There is not one day pass where knockings no go on, my viewers. Yeah, man, not one day in a pass where knockings and clappings no go on. But right now, we have to tell them, say, JN will always continue to give you know, the latest update them, yard and abroad. Don't feel like so we are left out nobody. Everybody, we have to cover the news. So, I just want them to continue to like and continue to subscribe to the channel. And turn on the bell so whenever the video upload, you'll be first amongst the few. Bless up.